Well, celebrate Passover with your loved ones by serving some delicious dishes from sweet to savory, sure to satisfy. Chef Naomi Knackman from Kosher.com and author of the new book, The Perfect Pesa, is here to show us how. Welcome. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I know. Here. We're happy to have you. And this looks and smells delicious. It is so delicious. And the key is it's really, really easy to make. So really? I really want it to be like something that my book should be accessible to everyone mm -hmm. and just fun, easy recipes. All right. Now, do we want to start with here, right here? <laughs> we can start right here. So Let's a lot, start cooking away. The recipes are on kosher.com, okay. which is a fantastic website. What they did is they took all the kosher recipes from around the world, mm. from writers and food mm -hmm. bloggers, Instagrammers, and they put it in one spot. So that way that, you know, kosher's got a big brand name itself, mm -hmm. right. besides being a religious thing in the kosher market. Like, people, you know, the way we eat, and, the, you know, kosher means fit. Mm -hmm. So this is like great food all on one website. So nice. um, you'll be able to find all the recipes uh, either in my book or mm -hmm. on kosher.com. So let's start by making this delicious pie. Yes, so tell us, because so, some of the dietary restrictions during Passover right. is, is part of this. Right, right. So we don't eat anything that has been, that needs to rise. Like mm -hmm. we don't eat bread. That's mm -hmm. why we eat matzah. Matzah is flat. So we, we, you know, don't get to eat fluffy bread, but we get to eat amazing cakes and even muffins that have had matzah meal in mm -hmm. it, which is crushed up matzah. So Very now nice. we can make this gluten-free Passover, Passover lemon curd. pie shell. You can actually buy the pre-baked pie shell by Geffen. It's a brand new product. So the product's Every year we're growing for mm -hmm. Passover, especially people are going gluten free all the time. Mm -hmm. Right, so, just in life. So, how do you prepare this? Okay, so it's really easy. And that's why I like lemon curd. Who doesn't mm -hmm. love fresh lemon? <laughs> I love fresh lemon, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got our pot, we got that nice and hot. So, we start off, I'm actually going to put in the lemon juice. Oh, Ooh, that nice is the hot. best sound in cooking, right? Yes. That sizzle. I'm going to just lower that. And I'm lowering it because when I put in the eggs, <laughs> when I put in the eggs, it will cook too quickly. So, let's get the lemon and the sugar going. How much mm. sugar is that? So it's about a cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm just going to whisk the sugar and the lemon juice. I try to use fresh lemons because mm -hmm. you know, that bottled lemon juice is great, but you want that real fresh. Fresh is always better. Fresh, fresh flavor. So I'm putting in my two eggs, and I'm just going to whisk, whisk, whisk. And you want this on a low heat, or? You want this on a low heat. Okay. So, you know, it's just keep it going. You don't want the eggs to cook. Mm -hmm. Right. It does, if it does get little strands of cook, you can just put it through a sieve and just kind of get out all it. that, you know, extra gook. Mm -hmm. And then you just get this going for a couple of minutes. It takes about a good eight minutes to get a real good custard, but we're going to, okay. you know, um, speed it up a little speed bit. Speed it up right? a little. We already have so that. This is what it looks like finished. So, yeah, so I just want to put mm -hmm. in at you know, using fresh lemons comes with lemon zest. So, mm -hmm. we've got our fresh lemon zest. So, I'm going to put that in. And then butter. Now, we don't eat dairy after Oops. meat meals. We don't, we don't um, have meat and milk together. So right. if we're going to have um, a meat meal, then afterwards we would use margarine or you can use oil. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of using oil. It's less hydrogenated fats. But if you're having a dairy meal, why not use butter? Exactly. Wait, how much butter, butter is this? That's like a half a stick. It's about a stick. Okay. A stick of butter, which is about a half a cup. Mm -hmm. and you, you can find all these recipes on crochet.com. I have a great lemon curd in my book. Mm -hmm. And this is the finished lemon yeah, curd. That is the finished lemon curd. So and so then when, you're, when you have it done, it says eight minutes, pour it in? you pour right, it in so there. You want to make sure that's all whisked through okay. properly. And why don't you pull that in okay. there? And this is really nice and refreshing after the Seder meal, which is a very big meal, the first two nights of the holiday. Mm -hmm. Just light and refreshing. And because you can buy these pre-baked now, it just makes life easy. <laughs> Get out of that kitchen fast. And what did you put, what did you put around it? So oh. I love pomegranate seeds because mm -hmm. it does that pop of color. And I love my food to be colorful. So mm -hmm. you can either do um, pomegranate seeds or blueberries. So you want to put them on sprinkle them around. On, sprinkle some on. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> Very nice. And as she does that, you, you have these muffins over here as well. Yeah, I love to serve muffins. They're great for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Right, grab and go. You can make a whole bunch and they freeze really well. So and what's so, in these muffins? So um, it's just literally fresh apples, mm -hmm. cinnamon, lemon juice. Uh, you put it at the bottom of the pan, then you make this great batter. Mm -hmm. um, matzo meal, uh, eggs, a little oil, and then you pour it over the, over the apples. And, it, and that's it. And then what? This is we need to talk about we that. Talk about oh this. my gosh. <laughs> cookie cake. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good, how are you? So this is a Pesach cookie cake. It's ah. basically chocolate chip cookies. Wow. Lay it Sold. Up. Yeah. <laughs> So these, yeah, are, these are chocolate chip. These right here. Are yeah, the chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, but they're gluten free, uh, which is really cool. Like, I love absolutely. that, right? Very Who doesn't nice. love gluten free stuff? A little lighter on the calories, also. 